Alarm set and timer. We hold those buttons down. We're going to plug in the unit. When it beeps, we let go. It's going to set up. Once we go in to the settings of your phone, Wi-Fi, HQX2128, we're going to open up the browser and we're going to open up 192.168.88.1. We're going to web configure. It's going to ask us for a Wi-Fi SSID and password. So you're going to put in your Wi-Fi and your password. You have this plus five and you can go all the way up to plus 12 to negative five. I want to be on Eastern Standard Time. So I submit and this should change. You only have a certain amount of time to do this. It says successful. So what I am going to go do now is reset this up again and go back into my Wi-Fi. There we go. 215, 215. It takes in a couple of seconds to do. Now, on the back of the unit, since we don't have a remote control, we have a set button, a timer hour, the third button. We're going to hit it. 216. It is 216, July 5th, Tuesday, daylight savings time. It's 80 degrees in the house. On the back of the unit, we have a brightness adjustment. I like it to be high. If it's on auto for day and night time, it will adjust. And I have low. This is the low. That is pretty nice. And that's the high. So we can see this during the daytime and we're on auto. On the bottom is timer. It is set to zero, zero, zero. There's my Wi-Fi. I want to start my timer. Which buttons do we press for the timer? We could probably hit the set button. And it goes by the hours. We hold it down. We go all the way up to 24 hours. So if I hit timer again, or the one above it, I could increase the seconds. And I could increase the minutes, the one above it from the bottom. If I hit the button, it's counting up. This is the button I hit, snooze. I could go back to the regular screen and the timer screen. If I hit the Celsius and the plus 24 hours and hold them both down. As I learn the unit, it will reset. So there is the reset. If I lose power, and I plug my unit back in. It may reset back to the time. It may take a couple of seconds to do so. But it resets to the 24 hours where you are going to have to go to the back of the machine and basically press the 12 hours. So that is a good thing that this is now hooked up to Wi-Fi. Now I've gone over briefly the timer Wi-Fi. You can hang it on the wall. It's got a nice color, matches the room here, blue. It has a nice clock. And I like how this is displayed. It's not that hard to learn. It'll take you just a little longer to set it up manually with the buttons located on the side over here. 
You can tuck away your cable very easily by placing it on with the cover. And if you have an exam, a kid's room, that you want to tell them, hey, look, you got to watch your time. This product may be right for you. So I hope this product is to your liking.